Hello again, friends! The wait is finally over and today I'm happy to present to you the Finnish mosque that was made as part of an Arabic street collaboration with my mates from Zbuduj Mytolog. A lot of you guys gave me some great feedback on the previous episode, but this time I think you'll be pleased even more with the final look of the build. So first I want to present to you a short cinematic of the mock, and then we'll jump into the review and talk about all the big and the small details that I have incorporated in this magnificent build. And if you want to know what are the future plans for my channel, make sure you stick to the end of the video because I have no intention of stopping. So now, without any further ado, I give to you the Medieval Mosque. So guys, how do you like what you see? I gotta say that I'm very happy of the finished mock. Even though I've changed a lot since my first idea, the final effect couldn't be better. It's definitely one of my biggest and cleanest builds I've made, but it's good to make something completely different for a change. The Middle Eastern team isn't something you can see often in the community, but it was a great experience for me and I cannot wait till I see my build next to the other 16 builders that are taking part in this collaboration. By the time this episode goes live, I'm probably finishing the assembly on the hobby fair in Poznań, so if you are in the area, make sure you drop by to see the whole thing live. But enough of that jibber jabber guys, now let's talk about the details. And the first thing that catches the eye here is for sure the mosaic, but man it was a hard thing to put together. I always liked the mosaics made with cheese slopes placed sideways and I finally got the chance to make good use of it. But I can't take all the credit for this idea because the star pattern was inspired by a mosaic made by Andreas Lenander and previously by Katie Walker who I will link in the description of this video. But the star pattern is just a small part of the whole courtyard. I've decided to make also two small hexagons with the same technique and I've surrounded them with tiles, ingots and these turntable base parts to add a nice pattern all around. At first I wanted to make a fountain in the middle of the courtyard, but finally I decided to make two small pools on both sides with some fish inside. And I think they turned out great, especially that the edges of the pools are small and the water is on the same level as the ground. Around the pools I made a mosaic with a chessboard pattern using white and dark turquoise tiles as intended from the very beginning. This pattern is present all around the build and I think that the white and turquoise colors do a great job breaking the all in all toned color scheme. There is of course a set of stairs leading to the courtyard from three sides so that people could have easy access and on the sides there are covered aisles finished up with arches. The side aisles haven't changed much since the last episode of this series so no point on in getting into too much details but I just have to say that now the dark orange sidewalk pops out even more from the rest of the build. And also the white and turquoise pattern on the outside 
now gets even more context, working great with the rest of the elements in these colors. And on the top of the aisles, there are of course two decorative towers that I already talked about in the third episode of this series, but now when we have symmetry on both sides, the overall look is even better. One thing I've added here are these gold pots with the same plants I made below on the courtyard. Now let's go back to the middle part of the build and check out the main structure with a huge doorway leading inside of the mosque. Last time you saw this build I had around two thirds of the height so now it's a big change from what we had. And finally I could finish the roof with the sand green dome made from half of Yavin 4. Here I also wanted to break the tan and nougat color scheme so I've added a little bit of gold detailing and made a part of the building with the same colors as on the courtyard and the side towers. The only thing left here was to make some kind of a top to the dome and for that I used the sword from one of the CMF series I got lying around in my parts bin. And now as promised I also made a little glimpse of the interior of the build just so there isn't hollow space when I leave the door open. And besides I wouldn't be myself if I didn't make at least a part of an interior. But to make things even more interesting, I found a perfect piece here, which is this little IKEA mirror which makes a small corridor seem a lot bigger. I know it's not an official LEGO piece, and if you're a purist it might bother you a bit, but isn't IKEA working with LEGO anyway? Besides, it will be a fun little easter egg during the exhibition if kids would be able to see themselves inside. I even made a very convenient contraption for placing the mirror, so it fits here perfectly and can be easily removed to take a look from the other side. And from here you can see all the details I placed inside, from the simple yet very nice looking mosaic on the floor, through the columns and arches on the walls, few gold lamps and decorations, to the stained glass windows lighting up from the inside so it gives a nice glow to the room. And the last but definitely not least element of the whole build was making the second minaret to stand proudly in the front and placing the minifigures you already know from the first episode of the series and a few animals around the mock to make it bursting with life. Of course we had to have some kind of a story drawn with the minifigures so here we have the Sultan and his son walking out of the mosque who are accompanied by the Prophet as they are walking towards Sultan's other son. But something bad is about to happen because we can see some shady character lurking around with a knife in his hand. And unfortunately there is no guard to take care of him because he is chasing some other guy out of the mosque. Also there is one guy feeding a monkey with a banana one sleeping on a balcony, some random citizens walking by, and of course I had to include that meme I did for the last episode, which I bet everyone will appreciate. And that my friends concludes the tour of my Middle Eastern diorama. Now it's time to pack it all in boxes along with the other builds I want to take with me to the exhibition and hope it won't fall apart during transport. Like I said, you are more than welcome to come see the builds live this weekend in Poznań but if that's not a possibility, stay tuned to the channel because after the fair I will make a cinematic video showcasing the whole collab. I am very excited to see how it all works together as this is my first live collaboration I am taking a part of, but surely not the last one. And since we're talking about the future plans, I want to make a little tease of what is to come. The next build will be something different as I want to take you all again on a trip to the galaxy far far away. And as this year is the 10th anniversary of the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, I want to make something place in this universe. I won't go too deeply into what I have planned for the next mock, but I assure you that you won't be disappointed. I think it will also be made as a building series and should start this year after I disassemble my current builds but I'll give you more details on that later this month when I'll be ready. You will probably get some more teasers on my Instagram account, so make sure you follow me there and in the meantime be sure to like this video and write down in the comments how do you like the mosque I've made. And I will see you guys again very soon. And until then, remember to stay safe and keep it bricking.